And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're uh, still following the light cruiser. I'm trying to match his bearing. Um, I don't think he's going straight east. Hmm. I wonder where he, where he's going though. There isn't really. Well, he could be going to Murmansk, I guess, but I don't know. I, I don't see why. There's really no reason for a single cruiser to. Be going um, to Murmansk all alone. That seems like a strange uh, proposition. But who knows? Weirder things have happened, I guess. But yeah, I've never seen a lone cruiser uh, so far up north. Um, hmm. So we might be out turning him a bit, so let's change our course just a little bit. Uh, and let's... Uh... Oh, I'm at 20 meters. Let's take a look-see. So um, I guess the only thing that could happen if he spots the sub or spots the periscope, I don't, I don't want to go to the surface, but if he spots the periscope, the only thing he can do really is to go a flank speed, uh, and we have no way to catch up with him. It would be kind of nice to try to gauge his speed. Uh, which we could do if um, we get some um, distance readings from the... but we kind of have to be... to get very accurate readings we have to be up on the surface more or less. Um, okay so now he's... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take uh, keep an eye on the bearing. Uh. It's pretty fast bearing rate, though. And he's turning away. So let's try to um, turn with him. And keep trying to match the bearing. Could we get to 12 meters? Thank you very much. Keep. There we go. Keep using the wrong periscope or. Um, uh, hmm. Really? Has he changed course? Seems like it has. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go over here. Oh, that wasn't the right key to press. There we go. So he might just be patrolling I guess. That would um, make it a lot easier to uh, get a shot off. He is pretty close. Interesting, so I guess we'll just have to um, 
keep an eye on him for for now and see if he is actually patrolling. Because he is definitely uh, heading west. And he was heading um, northeast before. So let's turn this way. Very interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to try to get a sh torpedo or two on him if possible. So I guess we'll try to get we'll try to get closer, but not too close, and we can kind of guess the range a bit better. The bad thing, of course, if is that if he has spotted us, he uh, that might be why he's uh, changing course, I guess. But the bad thing is that he might call for backup. Uh, that could be a problem. Uh, we got plenty of battery power, though. Well, oh yeah, in the con conning tower, which isn't really what I wanted, but sure. Oh, and the graphics have uh, bugged out. So everything looks uh, like shit. Uh, the only way to fix it is to... I think I can reload the, uh, the save. That should probably do it. Mm. Well... Alright, I guess I'll do it, so I'll be back in just a little bit. And here we are, back again. The graphics bug should be fixed. Uh, yep, everything looks good. Let's open the hatch again. Oh, and I need to rearrange everything. No, I don't. Okay. It's moving away. Well, he is going west. No question about it. So let's um, overtake him by a bit, by quite a bit. If only. There was darkness that would make it well it would make it harder to uh, get a good hit, but it would make it easier to uh, get a better reading of uh, range and speed, which we of course can do from the uh, periscope as well. But I think we need to get a bit closer so that we can um, lock onto him that would. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty hard to try to determine uh, range. Uh, especially in this uh, sea state. It's not too bad, but it's, um, it's not perfect either. Okay, so let's uh, turn a bit more. Another 10 degrees and speed up just a little bit. Yeah, he is going fast. He is going really fast. So let's turn 20 degrees. Uh, 
Uh, now the bearing rate isn't as fast as it was. Oh. So let's keep an eye on that. Uh, he's still heading west. West-ish. So basically... What would that be? So he is somewhere... Somewhere on this bearing. Uh, more or less. Oh, that was the wrong thing. And fuck. <laughs> no, don't turn. Don't follow plotted course. Here we go. The ruler is what I wanted. Um, so he is almost straight ahead. Well, he should be a bit more to starboard, actually. Because we made a silly turn. Yeah, he said, uh, well, he's pretty. He, I think he's going pretty fast. That's what it looks like. It would be interesting to see if he uh, turns or if he changes course again. Uh, so let's keep turning. To, um, turning towards west. Twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty seven degrees, twenty six, twenty five. <clears throat> yeah, so he's um, changing bearing rapidly. Uh, within one minute so far, he has uh, changed bearing three times. Moving fast, yeah. He is moving fast. There's no way we can uh, keep up with him. Um, even on the surface, would be very hard to. Well, we we just can't do 32 knots. It's not possible. But hopefully, he is in some kind of uh, patrol box or something. Because it seems weird that if he did indeed spot um, spot us, it seems weird that he would be turning west all of a sudden. So hopefully he is uh, doing some kind of a patrol, going west, west to e east and east to west. Yeah, he is moving fast. Let's take a take a look, see with the periscope. Uh, it's 20 degrees off starboard. Yeah, he is hauling ass. Let's turn another 10 degrees. We got a radio message. Alright. Uh, scuttling after heavy damage by swordfish bomber, wasn't this... No, here we go. What? Is it the other way around? No, I feel stupid. Yes, it is. Okay. So this is obviously... Resupply boat U463 arrived at his patrol area and he will be available in the vicinity of, the, of grid BD-35 North Atlantic until late June 1943. So what was the... Uh, oh, it was the same. So, yeah, we got duplicate radio messages. And that midway message uh, we already read. So we should see him on the map. Yeah, there he is. Pretty far out into the Atlantic. But this, I believe this is the closest um, supply submarine that will ever... 
uh, be be available if you're up um, in the Arctic Sea. If I remember correctly, we won't get a um, another uh, another resupply. A submarine, South Atlantic, North Atlantic, Northwest Atlantic. That's U four six three. Yeah, so this is basically the closest resupply submarine we have. And there really isn't. Uh, what is this blue line? I've never seen that before. Oh, and there's a red line. Hmm, never noticed that before. And uh, we can't look at the eastern front for some reason that will crash the game. Uh, well, we can kind of look at it like this, but if you zoom zoom in, then it crashes the game for some reason. But yeah, the um, Germans have captured Kharkov. Not Stalingrad, not yet. It's uh, well, it's only, uh, it's only, well, it's June, so. Uh, Operation Blue would uh, be taking place pretty soon, and uh, then we would capture Rostov on Dawn, and then Stalingrad. So there's some uh, big stuff going on on the Eastern Front right now. Still the wrong periscope. Let's take a look what he's up to. Well, he isn't that that much closer. But he is kind of heading perpendicular just a bit. So let's turn another 20 degrees. Well, still, I'm doing six knots. That would uh, definitely leave a wake from the periscope, so that's bad. But I don't think he. I don't think he sh should be able to spot us. Anyway, if I could only get a. Um, Good measurement on range, I could actually fire on him. Uh, well, I guess we can um, play around a bit with it, I guess. Impact. Um, oh, how do I unlock this? Jeez, it's been so long. I can't really remember. Change these. No, I cannot. So here it is. Okay, there we go. So let's go back to the periscope. Um, I can't change the speed. That's too bad. So this is depth. So five meters should be plenty. There should be a way to set the. Uh, Speed, so let's say he's doing 32 knots, and we would fire I guess when we would be something like that 30 degrees off his um, port side. We would, um, we'd be firing straight ahead, I guess. Well, too bad I can't set the speed. These are the um, the 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 steam torpedoes, are they? No, these are the electric ones. Can't set speed on them. Speed thirty knots, so I guess not. I 
Kriegsschiff auf 3, 2, entfernt sich. Well, so it's a kind of a guessing game, really. Um, and I don't want to launch until, you know, I feel certain that we'll get a hit, so that's going to be a while. Uh, so he seems like he's very far away right now. Yes, for very far away. So maybe um, go starboard just just a bit, so we don't lose lose him. He might have changed course, so that would be a problem. You know, I kind of want to go to the surface, but I'm a bit iffy about it. Well, I guess the worst thing that could happen would be that he uh, fired on us, and well, that's pretty bad, but we would be able to uh, get below the waves pretty quickly. Uh, but I guess we'll end on a cliffhanger. Uh, I will definitely head for the surface, but uh, we'll have to wait to the next time to see how that fares. So let's give the order to surface. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. We'll see if this will be the end of the patrol, but I don't. I don't think so. But um, see you then.